All right, what's up everyone? I got a huge uh, haul today. I had to go out and do some errands, so I stopped at uh, three or four places and found a bunch of new Hot Wheels stuff and some other stuff that uh, I'm excited to share. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in. Um, you can kind of see the bags here. I haven't taken them out of the bags yet, so we're, we're like looking at them store fresh. So the first thing I found was the 2020 um, new model of the 2019 Kia Stinger. This thing looks awesome in blue. Um, the card art, everything looks great. Um, as you'll notice, it has a little Mattel logo down there because this is actually an international card. Um, and I found this at O'Reilly's Auto Parts while I was picking up some sandpaper work on my real car. Um, so that was kind of a cool, unexpected. That was actually the last place I stopped on the way home. Um, so it was kind of an unexpected find, but it's it's cool. I like that. I like that I found it there. Um, I'm, I usually don't have that as my places um, to hunt, but it was cool to find it just kind of laying there. So um, the next stop was Target. And these, I've actually found the whole set of these, but this is like one, I bought an extra one to play with. Um, to roll around on my desk. I really like the S14, um, so I picked it up. It's it's kind of an old find, but some people haven't seen them yet, so. Uh, the next one is a 2019 Wave 7 uh, Paul Menard NASCAR. I'm not a huge uh, Ford guy, but I do like, like this is the old wood, oh, there's a fly, get out of here fly. Um, there's an old, it's like the old Wood Brothers, um, paint job so I thought that was pretty cool I don't know if you guys collect NASCARs or not but um, I do and I really like that paint job so that was another one that I picked up so let's see what else I'm gonna switch something on the camera right quick okay so the next one the final target one um, was the new Fast and Furious 5 pack and you guys see me open that one um, so you know I have these but it, some of them this has been harder to find I only found them at Walmart so far and I only found two so I like having a few backups uh, the Fast and Furious so that would be the third find um, I stopped at Walmart but I didn't find anything there um, and then my first stop actually is where I found all these and I found them at Kroger um, so there's two bags I'm kind of good gonna go through them here uh, I really like this one this is one of the truck and trailers um, I know some people don't collect these but I really like these I like the stuff that isn't just the standard mainline like I love standard mainlines but I like buying things that are, are that are different um, and I I don't think a lot of people collect these but to me they're like a hidden gem um, this is a pretty cool this is one I haven't seen before it's called cruising cruising illusion and it looks like a magic show truck um, but it has I mean that truck looks very like Art Deco, 50s, it almost looks like a, um, probably like a 57 Chevy truck, um, like a 57 3100 ish with the bullet bumpers, um, but it's pretty cool, I like it, um, and they show a bunch of like the Carnival Steamer, the Galactic Express is on the back, and then it shows you what it actually does, so the car slides in and out. Um, so that's pretty cool. I like these. They're not a bad price. They're either $3.99 or $4.99. Um, but it's very cool. I love the card art. I really like the truck and trailers. These are really fun to open and play with if you're into that. So, um, and we'll go through some of the main lines here. So the first one is the RV there yet in blue, which I hadn't come across yet. I have a bunch of the red ones, but it was cool to see it in the recolor. Um, I got a few of these, so I'll have to like kind of hunt them down, or, like pull them out at the same time. But this is the um, GTR, the Anniversary Edition, and this is like the blue one is the Super. But I had not found these anywhere yet, so I was pumped to find them. Um, these were just randomly in a dump bin in a, in a aisle at Kroger. So these are pretty cool. I was pumped to find those. Um, the P1, it's a recolor. It's almost like a chameleon teal color because it is you can definitely tell it's they they try to even put it on the card that it's chameleon because it, it might be hard to see but when you move it it almost has a yellow gloss like a gold pearl undertone but this is a really nicely painted car i'll have to get one and open it that one's pretty cool so that's another one um i like this casting the 42 willie's jeep this came out in like i think it was 09 um, someone will correct me if I'm wrong in the military paint scheme, but this is so rad like I love the Goodyear and like the red orange yellow over the blue it just It just looks like a cool casting. So 
I picked that up. Um, another one, the Nova Wagon in Flames. You just, I mean, how can you go wrong in Hot Wheels Flames with muscle car stuff? So, all right, let's see what else we got here. So there's probably some in the other bag of these too, but this is the first time I found this, um, the ZR1 convertible, and I love this color. I've seen a few um, of the real ZR1s in this color. There's a local shop um, to Cincinnati Weapon X, and they had one this color, and it is like it's just a beautiful car in person. So I love that Hot Wheels debuted it in that orange color, um, and I picked up a few of these. I really like this casting, so pretty cool. Next, next, let's see what we got here. All right, so the Silverado Trail Boss LT, that was the first time I found this as well. Um, I like trucks, so I picked it up, no other reason than that. Um, the Spy Race, this is actually the first time the Ion Motors Thresher, I did a review of this, but this is the first time actually finding it in stores, so I was pumped to find one. I didn't think I would actually come across one. Um, the next one is a recolor on a the Panamera Hybrid. It's blue with blue wheels, which is uh, kind of unusual because a lot of times Hot Wheels doesn't do the same color wheels as the body. So I kind of like it. It's very, it pops for sure. So I just thought that was unique. So I picked it up. So that's bag two. All right, let's go back here. I'll leave what I consider the best for last. So um, here's a, a recolor on the eight crate. I like it because it has really thick white walls. I mean, that's a pretty cool looking. And the green and black, I'm not a huge green fan, but that that looks cool. Pick that one up. Um, the Twin Mill Gen E, this is a recolor. Um, it's already been, I know it's been at least in green, um, but this, like this is a cool looking casting. I love it that they did a electric take on the Twin Mill. So I bought, I'll buy every version of that. I just. I just really like that casting. It looks really good in that maroon, like matte maroon color too. So <laughs> um, this one is not a particularly special out of the ordinary casting. It's the Hot Wheel Edition Camaro. But if you look, it's an error car. It has like what appears to be the front, um, the front stripe redid at least, I mean, two or three times on the side of the car. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, to me, errors are cooler than collecting, like, oh my gosh, this is a treasure hunt. I was like, what? This is a treasure hunt. So it's a treasure hunt error. I was about to say it's cooler than collecting regular treasure hunts, but in my rush of looking through the bin and grabbing stuff, I didn't even notice this is a regular treasure hunt. So cool. Dude, that was awesome. So it's a treasure hunt error. Check that out. Dude, that could have gone better if I wanted it to so um here's the the sky dome I picked up this one because it has Tokyo 2020 and obviously the Olympics aren't going to be this year so I thought it was kind of cool to to have something that was kind of like an error like that um let me pull out all the regular cards here all right so next I found two more um Corvettes because I like that one so I picked up a few of them um the recolor on the Volvo 850 estate make sure there it goes um, the vault, this is a good casting. I really like it in white. Um, so I was happy to find it in the recolor checker flag patterns. That's pretty cool. So, uh, the 96 Carrera looks good in yellow. The, it has gray, like mesh lace wheels on it and it looks nice. Like this, this is a clean, clean casting. So pretty cool to find it in yellow. The pixel shaker, this is a recolor. It did come out in red. Uh, I really like the blue. And then the blue over it, like I've had a couple of pairs of tennis shoes with the same color combo. So I think that's a pretty cool fantasy casting. Very nice color combo. And then another, the final one is the, another uh, GTR anniversary car. So um, the, the last three <coughs> is a NASCAR, another NASCAR. And this one is from 2019 Wave 11. Um, this is one of the Lionel NASCARs. It's a William Byron 24 car, but it's painted um, like the Chevy from, uh, oh my gosh, Days of Thunder. My mind is melting right now. So it even says like Hendrick Auto Guard. Like it, it's pretty cool. I like that it has that paint job. Um, I have some of the original like Hardy's Days of Thunder cars. So this will look at home in my NASCAR collection. So I'm pumped about finding that one. 
Um, the second one are these, these are a little weird. I know everybody doesn't collect like fantasy stuff, but I bought these back in like, oh man, 2013 or 2014. Um, let me pause and go grab it actually. Okay, so they really sees, when was this, 2014? Um, they were also called Mutant Machines then, but here's an older version. Um, I bought this at Toys R Us, and this is a, this is a fire truck. I thought this one was awesome. Or it's supposed to be like a tanker truck, I guess, on a fire truck, but um, as you can see, they like extend in the package. Um, so this is pretty cool. This one's called Skull Face, and it's clear, and it has like, it, like bones. So it looks like the croc rod almost stretched out. So they're really cool. These are fun to open and play with. Um, but a mutant machine's um, pretty cool. Really like that. So keep an eye out. Here's the back of it that shows the rest. They did have all of them. Um, they actually have a crocodile one. That's funny. Um, I like the Flex Force one. That looks pretty cool. But you can see as the kid's holding it, it like stretches all around. So I don't know if you're a fan of fantasy stuff, but these are awesome. Fun to play with. Give them to the kids. And then the last one, which is awesome, is a Scania rally truck. This thing is killer. Uh, Lamely Group previewed this a while back, and I did not think I was going to find it at least, at least this soon because I had no idea really when it was coming out. But this thing is killer. Look at that. And it is like, if you look at the size, like here's a regular Hot Wheel. Let's see here. Is it a Corvette? Like it's in the full size, like double truck packaging. And the, again, this is one I found at Kroger uh, in in the aisle with like in the area with these and the trucks and the motorcycles and some of the um, airplanes and stuff. So you can see the that's like the I can't remember what it's called, like the skull hauler. I actually have that one. It's it's like a semi truck based on Bone Shaker. Um, but this is by far the coolest one. Look at that. So definitely gonna have to pop it open. That is so rad. Very cool. So let me, um, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna grab a few uh, photos of it in the package and then I'm gonna be right back and do a unboxing of it real quick. Sit tight. Okay, I'm back. I just shot some pictures of the a bunch for the post, so um, I'm gonna open the, I'm gonna, I hope I'm saying it right, Scania, Scania Rally Truck. Um, super cool, I'm really excited to get into this, but I wanted to go back to this, the Cruisin', Cruisin' Illusion for a second. Um, I have not seen this car before today. I'm sure it has come out before. If it hasn't though, um, I, I wasn't able to actually look at it. So I don't know if you're familiar with these trucks, but many of them do in action. Um, like the bank roller is actually a bank. And then they have another one that was the like school bus themed one that was a pencil holder. And I think it has like a pencil sharpener or something else in it. Um, they have the silver truck. I can't remember what it's called, but it's actually, um, you sit your phone down into it and it plays like, it's almost like a speaker amplifier in the truck. Um, it has like tunes and sounds waves and stuff all over it. Um, so a lot of these trucks do something. So when I was going through and taking these photos, it's a special feature. Um, which I noticed, I was like, okay, yeah, it pulls out, you could put the car in there, and I didn't look very closely at it. But if you can see, I'm going to bump up this so you can read it a little bit better. Um, this actually is a disappearing car trick. It says, first step, place car and trailer and close trailer. Two, press down on front of trailer. Oh, my finger's messing up. Press down on front of trailer. Three, Open the trailer to show the disappearing car, then close trailer again. Four, release the tab and open up the trailer to see the car again. So this is actually like a little mini magic trick, which is awesome. Like how cool is that? That's seriously the sweetest thing ever. Oh, I'm so glad I picked that up because I just bought it on aesthetics, purely on aesthetics. I didn't know it did that. So I am excited to do that, but um, I'm gonna do, well actually, let's go ahead and open it up. This will be a longer one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and see see actually how this works. Let me 
it's a good looking truck. You can kind of see like that 50s era. Get a lot of wheels for the money here. So it says 2019, so this actually might be the first time we've seen this. I, I actually do look at these a lot and I don't recall seeing it before. Um, so let's, let's just try it. So obviously it pulls out, it somehow separates from the, from the trailer here. I don't know how though, let me see. Be smarter than the children's toy. Okay, let me see how I can get it detached real quick. Usually you turn them and there's like a tab. I just don't want to break it. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if you can do it on. Okay, I'm going to keep it. If they take longer, I'll fast forward it. But I don't know how to take it off the trailer. I don't want to break it either because this is awesome. Okay, pause break. Okay, I'm back. So uh, it does just pop off. It's a little flimsy because of the magic tab or whatever. Um, but it does have like a traditional truck and trailer kingpin um, that just snaps into place. It's like a ball. Um, just so you won't break yours. I didn't break mine or anything. Um, but I did get it apart. So that's what the bottom looks like. So let's see if I do this right. So you pull the tray out. Put the car inside. Push on the front of this. Ha ha, look at that. It's magic. Ha ha. That is awesome. Dude, that would blow my little nephew's mind. Seriously, that is the coolest thing ever. People are, if you don't buy these, you're sleeping on some of the best stuff Hot Wheels has. That is so cool. That is awesome. So that's probably my new favorite, like, new favorite Hot Wheel thing right there. That is killer. So that just snaps right back into place and you have a rolling magic trick. Dude, that is cool. I'm pumped about that. Sorry for yelling in the camera, but that is awesome. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy more of those. Those are killer. So. Let's get on to the real, the real beauty of the group though, the Scania rally truck. So forgive me if I say it wrong, um, but let's go ahead and, and pop this sucker open. When I saw this back on the Lamely group a couple months ago when they previewed it, um, I, I didn't know, like I thought it would be in these kind of packaging, but I didn't know it would be in this set exactly. So it was kind of a surprise to me. They probably announced it and I just didn't remember it, but look at this beauty. That is awesome. How cool is that? Look at the, so it has like, this is like the moving part of it, the detachable ramp, and it doesn't actually detach, which is nice. So let me bump it down just a touch. Bloop. There it goes. Um, so it's meant to like, I think it's, you can hold two cars in it. I don't know. I'm just going to try to like, so it holds, I guess it holds one like that. Holds the Rally Quattro. I don't know if it'll hold it inside. I think that's how it's supposed to go like that. You guys will correct me though if I'm wrong. But it holds the car well. Like it's in place. Some of those truck and trailers, they don't hold cars well. Let's see what else I have over here. Um, let's see if it'll hold the old Sarsky and Hutch Torino. Oh sweet, it will. That's a nice, they did a nice job on designing the trailer on this. That part fell off, but that's some big tires. I mean, that's pretty good. So you can see in here, kind of slides back up in the trailer like this and snaps into place so that it does, it's not loose, it holds. It's nice and tight, actually, it fits well. And this is metal. This is not plastic, this is metal. This is plastic, metal, metal. So that's a pretty nice, nice truck overall i think the base is metal or the the chassis is plastic so the cab and the trailer are metal but the rest is plastic and i don't even i'm not even mad at it it looks good it looks good in plastic look at the the lights on it i'm gonna pump it back up 
It's got really nice tampos on it. This is a cool truck. I like it. I can't wait to see more of more versions of this truck. This thing would probably be a rocket on the track. It look how big those wheels are. Like the turbo fan wheels and they're I I think this is the biggest version of those wheels that you can currently buy. But this thing actually like it rolls well. I'm gonna have to put it on a track and actually do some racing with it. So to pull off the let's see. Yep, it just snaps back out of place. Let's see here. Yep, it slides right back. You can kind of see it has the same, almost like the ball the truck does, um, that it slides into. And then it w wiggles side to side too. So that is very cool. I'm impressed by this. The little detailing like the gas and the fire extinguisher and I think those are, it looks like ramps. It's cool, I like it. It's a relatively, like, it actually has some weight to it. Um, and let me get my scale real quick and we will do some weighing. Okay, so I bought this little scale, this kitchen scale. It's a little hard to see. Um, I'm gonna push it back just a touch, there it is. Um, I bought this kitchen scale, let me zero it out, um, to show how much Hot Wheels weigh because I think weight is a good indication of like quality. If it's heavy, it feels good. Um, so here is the Subaru. So it weighs 1.2 ounces, as you can see there. So let's weigh the rally truck. So it weighs 2.5 ounces. So it's double the weight almost. So what was this? 1.2, yeah. It's more than double the weight of the Subaru. So it's, it's even though a lot of it is plastic, it has some good weight to it. Um, it's a good looking truck. Man, I'm excited about it. Let's see what this weighs with the car in the back. So that weighs 5.1 with the car in the back. So that's a pretty hefty uh, truck and trailer there. Um, but it's cool. Like I, I'm gonna start weighing some more just to show some of the quality of it. But I'm gonna put this down. This is a very cool casting. I'm excited to show it off. I'm excited to take some more photos of it and possibly run it down the track. But very cool. Some very cool store finds today. It's nice that stuff is beginning to open back up, um, getting somewhat back to normal. Finding new Hot Wheels is always a bright spot in your day. So thanks for sticking with me. It was kind of a long video. Um, but if you want me to do more store finds or mail calls, I can do that too. So look for more posts and the posts on the rally truck and the magic truck as well. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.